A geothermal installation has a few separate components. Drilling is usually the first step. The vertical holes illustrated here are drilled with a special self-contained drilling rig that is moved onto the site. The CAMAC100 drill is the only geo drill with an auto-loading system that incorporates both the drill rods and the casings, which are required to reach depths of 500 feet, resulting in a faster, more efficient excavation and installation. Once the holes are drilled, they are fitted with a specially constructed Y-shaped plastic pipe that sends liquid down to the bottom of the tube and allows it to return to the surface. This is called the loop. Every vertical drill hole will have the two tubes from this loop sticking out of the surface. This final tube is the grout delivery tube. After the loops have been cleaned with pressurized air and flushed with water, the rest of the space within the drill hole is filled with a thermally conducting silica grout that provides a maximum contact with the surrounding earth. Once the liquid grout bubbles to the surface, the drill hole is properly filled. All drill holes are finally topped up and are ready for the next phase. A connecting trench is excavated six feet below surface grade alongside the loops. They are tested again to ensure there has been no damage in the excavation process. A vital step in the network connection process is the proper cutting and joining of the various pipes. Vertical pipes are cut down and cleaned with isopropyl alcohol, ends are chamfered, and elbows are fused on with heat guns. Don't drink. Attached. Make sure it's on tight and flush with the chamfer tool. Top. The fusing process literally melts all the various pipes into a single solid unit. A seal around the entire pipe. The process continues sterilizing and fusing with the heat gun until the entire network is built. Prefabricated T-junctions are added and the vertical pipes are then joined to the horizontal pipes in the trench. Done. And we're going to do a butt fusion connection to these two. So, Special butt pipe. fusion industrial equipment is used to okay. ensure a secure and pipe. correct fit. In, clamp down, open, bring the pipe where you want it, and check, lock it, that, and closes down on the pipe. Once all vertical pipes have been connected to the horizontal pipes, the network is complete. The flush test is done using a high pressure pump to clean any debris from the loop and remove any air in the lines. The entire system is pressurized to 110 PSI and left for 24 hours. This is done to make sure there are no leaks in all the fusions or joins done to the pipes in the network. After the pipes have passed inspection, the trenches are filled with clean sand to a depth of one and a half feet, and then compacted using a small trench-sized machine. Compaction is tested for adherence to code, and then the rest of the trenches are backfilled with the original soil and compacted one foot at a time.
Residential buildings are treated the same way. Once all vertical pipes have been connected to the horizontal pipes, the network is complete and can be brought into the building. A special collar is used to provide a sealed barrier where the pipes enter through the basement walls. A flush test is done using a high pressure pump to clean any debris from the loop and remove any air in the lines. The entire system is then pressurized to 120 psi and left for 24 hours. Once the network has passed inspection, the incoming and outgoing pipes will be connected to the interior heating and cooling piping system that supplies the home. The outside loop system will then be filled and the surface will be finished ready for the homeowner.